Welcome to Virtual Tour Cafe. My name is Tim Denbo and I'll be your instructor in this introduction to Virtual Tour Cafe and how to create your first virtual tour and distribute it to the world. We're going to start by logging in at virtualtourcafe.com. When you log in, you're going to use your username and password that was sent to you in an email. If you haven't received that, please contact us at 877-744-8285. Your username is typically your email address and your password is randomly assigned, but both of these can be changed once you're logged into your account. So I'm going to start with my username and password and log in. Now you can choose your MLS, but it's not real important uh, at this time, so don't worry about that right now. Once you get logged in, you're going to see a place for the agent information and the company information about in the middle of the page and you'll also see some other marketing services on the left there for once you've created your virtual tours. With the agent information all you do or the company information is click on the picture or the icon where the picture the um, the profile should be. So you can browse for your agent picture from your computer, add your license information, your first name, last name, username can be changed uh, if you'd like to and the password as well to something that you'll remember easy, easier your email, your mobile phone, agent profile, and credentials. On the very bottom of the screen you'll see an area where it says My Cafe Gallery. This is where we're going to create a URL or a website page for all of your virtual tours. By default it's your first and last name with no spaces or special characters. You can change that but we recommend leaving it as your name. Once you're done with any changes on this screen click the update on the bottom of the screen then we're going to go over to the company information. So on the menu on the right hand side, these are all of your default settings that you can change and we're going to go to the company information by clicking there and we can browse for our company logo. We can choose from the company banners that are available or we can browse and add our own banner. If you do add a banner of your own, the banner size, the optimum banner size is 870 pixel by 90 pixel. That's 870, 870 by 90 pixel. If you need help with your banner or your company logo, please get a hold of us. Uh, we can help you with that as well. We don't want uh, that to be a problem for you, so please be sure to contact us at 877-744-8285. We'll be more than happy to assist you. This is where you're going to add your company information, your company address, city, state, zip, phone, and your website on the very bottom there. And this is where people will be able to contact you and get a hold of you and to visit your website and drive your search engine optimization to your website by having more tour virtual tours and uh, interaction on your website which increases your Google Google juice. Once you're done with any changes on this screen you can also update from the bottom of the screen there. Now anytime you want to get back to the the home page or the starting place simply go to the my cafe on the top of the screen or the gold virtual tour cafe icon on the top of the screen. Now when you're ready to create your very first tour you can simply go to your first step create image set. Once we've created virtual tours we can manage those with the advanced settings manage image sets. You can also go to the image set tab on the top of the screen go directly to tours, flyers, videos, or to your global default settings. You'll also notice there's a getting started tab here on the very left side. This is where you can watch an introductory video such as what you're watching right now. You can download the getting started user guide and you can also go to the gold support tab on the very top of the screen to get additional support such as additional uh, training documents. You'll see here that there's several different documents, training videos, and we're adding more videos all the time. This is also where you can find our contact information, our phone number, and you can email us at support at virtualtourcafe.com. We're always here to help you and we include unlimited training, so please don't hesitate to give us a call or email us with any questions that you have. So to create our first tour, we're going to click on Your First Step, Create Image Set. We're going to browse on our computer to find the images. And when we find the images, we're going to 
download them or select them by simply clicking on the images that we want. So if we want all of these images, I can click on the first one, hold the shift key down, and select the last image. Or if I only want certain images, I can use the control key to select which images I want. Holding the control key, clicking on save, or again, clicking on the first image, hold the shift, click on the last image, it'll select all of those images, click on save, and that will add those images into the screen to be uploaded. Now you can also right click inside the blank area next to the image file names and you can sort by date which will arrange the pictures in the order that they were shot or photographed. This will help you in later when we want to move those images around. But it's real simple to move images and rearrange them so don't worry too much about that. You'll notice on the bottom of the screen there's certain required information. The red asterisk is required. So the country the state, the city, the category. Now you may have uh, properties that you um, are just working on so you can set a draft status. You might have coming soon or you might even want to do a personal or a community virtual tour if you don't have a listing right now and create a virtual tour to help market and promote yourself. You can also enter your properties that have already been sold or are already pending, but you want to have the, a virtual tour to add to your marketing. So go ahead and choose the category. Choose the property type, whether it's a single family home, condo, townhouse. You'll find uh, pretty much all the categories that you'll need here. Multifamily, income investment, houseboat, lot, duet, duplex, triplex, etc. So I'm going to select the single family home. The caption is the title to the virtual tour. Great property on large lot or whatever makes sense for you and this particular property. Now you'll notice there's no red asterisk next to price or MLS. So these are not required fields. You can create a virtual tour in advance of even getting your listing or before you've agreed upon a price or before you've entered it to the MLS or maybe you don't even have it on the MLS. You can still create a virtual tour and market it through some channels like Craigslist and some other places. So we can enter the price if we have it And if we have the MLS number, we can enter that as well. And again, you can leave those off if you don't have them. Leave the services on their default all on, or if you're on a particular subscription level where you only have the tour or you only have the flyer or the video, <coughs> you can leave that as well. Click on Create, and you can create the virtual tour in a matter of moments. Notice that it's very quick. We've already uploaded six files, seven files, eight, nine. It literally takes seconds to upload. If you have uh, a lot of big images, then maybe it'll take a minute or two, but it won't take long at all. Now also recognize that file size doesn't really matter as far as too big. Too little does matter. You don't want images that are too small. Our system will automatically convert your images to 1024 by 768. That's 1024 by 768, 300 dot per inch images. Now, if you upload images that are very small images, 300 by 100, then we're going to increase the size of them and it will make them look a little blurry. So, the better scenario is to upload large, high resolution images. So if you have one megabyte, two megabyte, three megabyte files, pictures, that's okay. Our system will automatically compress them to the appropriate size. But if they're too small, then we're going to have to stretch them and make them bigger, and it will look a little grainy. Now, once we've loaded our pictures, you'll notice that they're in a particular order, but we may want to move these images into a different order, such as number five, I'd really like to be my first picture. So I'm simply going to point at number five, click and hold my left mouse button down and I'm going to drag it to the position where I want that picture to be. 
if I want the uh, number six to be number two, well, I'm just going to simply drag it to where I want. If you've ever played solitaire on the computer, this is almost exactly the same way. Think of these as cards, and you're just moving the cards in the appropriate order that you want them to be in. So I'm going to move the kitchen there. I'm going to move the dining room after the kitchen. I'm going to move the master bedroom right there. There's a master bath. We've got a nice view of the backyard, and I think that's a great order to be in. Now notice that the titles are already here. Now how did that happen? Well, the titles came in because I named the pictures on my computer before I ever uploaded them. It will automatically bring in the file name. But if you have a file named file 00345, well, that's not really a great, uh, you know, file name to have there. So or a a, a caption for your picture because these names will show up in the picture when the virtual tour displays. So if you have a name like that, simply highlight it or click your mouse and delete what's there or type over it such as great home on large lot. Now I can press the tab key and automatically go to the next image caption, tab key to go to the next caption, tab key to go to the next caption, and anytime I want to change something I can simply start typing and it will replace that, or I can use my arrow keys to move to the end of a, a caption and say formal dining room with vaulted ceilings, vaulted ceiling, okay? Now, once I've titled all the pictures, be sure to click on the Update All Captions, either on the right-hand menu or right above the images, Update All Captions. That will save the changes we've made to our pictures. Now, the next step, after we've arranged our pictures, we've typed the titles, we're going to add the property information. Now, your toolbar or menu is always on the right-hand side, so you'll notice here that the menu on the right hand side has two things that we're going to want to do next property information and amenities so I'm going to click on property information that's going to pop up a screen that we're going to be able to simply type in the description the number of bedrooms bathrooms the square footage of the property the lot size we're going to be able to put in the MLS number if we haven't already the price all of those things the address of the property etc etc So we're going to add the title. Uh, now we've already got a title in there, so we don't have to change it, but if we wanted to add it or change it, we could. The description. You can type up to a thousand characters in the description. You don't want it to be too long because then it's going to overcrowd on the flyer and people will get bored, quite frankly. So add a description that's a thousand characters or less, which still gives you quite a bit of room, at least a couple of paragraphs uh, worth of uh, uh, typing that you can add there. and just keep typing as much information as you want there the uh, up to a thousand characters the number of bedrooms the number of bathrooms parking spaces typically you'll just use for um, condos um, uh, townhouses things of that nature but if that's appropriate go ahead and add that we'll add our garage size here in just a moment if there's a subdivision the lot size the garage size school district if you have that, square footage of the home, the MLS we already have, the pricing we already have. You do have the ability of adding some uh, flexibility such as firm or negotiable, but you don't have to add anything there on the pricing. When you do add a price, be sure you only enter numbers, no comma, no decimal place, no dollar sign. That's added for you automatically. The additional price information, you could add um, seller will carry, or you could add just listed or any information that you would like to for additional price information that will show up directly under the price. But this is optional. You don't have to add any of that. The address on the lower part of the screen we do need to add. And we've got to add the zip code. 
neighborhood if you have uh, if it's a particular neighborhood that you want to add latitude and longitude are not necessary at all unless you have a lot that is uh, land that is hard to find um, and or there's no real address for that land you can add latitude and longitude but absolutely not necessary at all if you have an address okay we're going to update we finished the property information. We're going to close that window and go to amenities. Now the amenities are even easier because they are toggle switches. You simply choose which amenities this property has, toggle the switch to on or off, and then you can even add your own amenities if you want to as well. Okay, on the amenities screen, we have it in several sections, appliances, interior amenities, exterior amenities, and community amenities. You'll notice the red circle with the X in them next to amenities that we've added ourselves. So these you can delete. The others are part of the default system and you can toggle them on or off. So range oven, dishwasher, stainless steel appliances, full refrigerator, if we've got a washer dryer, um, so the interior amenities, fireplace, we've got central heating, we've got tile floors, it's a remodeled kitchen, uh, master suite, breakfast area, kitchen island, hardwood floors, dining area. On the exterior amenities, we've got a patio, we've got a hot tub, we've got a corner lot, it's a fenced yard with grass lawn, it's, uh, and so we'll go ahead and update this amenities. Notice it says updated, and we'll click on the X in the top right corner to close this screen. Notice a lot of these screens have a question mark, a gold question mark circle in the top right corner. This is context sensitive help. You can click on these little help icons and bring up information about the screen that we're on. So it tells you about adding amenities, tells you about clicking the X after they're created if you want to delete them, and also that these amenities will then be available on the next tours that you create so you don't have to keep adding amenities every single time. So we're going to go ahead and close this screen. We've added property information, we've added amenities, we've rearranged pictures, we've typed the titles. We're really pretty much done and ready to distribute this tour to the world. Now I'm going to go back to the image set screen. So I'm going to go to the top of the screen and go to image sets. Now there's a couple of things we need to do. One is we need to activate this tour. Now you'll notice underneath the picture is the word yes or no on active. Activating a tour is necessary in order to view the tour, distribute the tour, to be able to um, uh, send the tour link to your clients or to add the tour link to the MLS. But by activating the tour, it does not distribute the tour automatically unless you copy and paste or send the link or invite somebody to view the tour. So I wanna just make clear that you do need to activate the tour to distribute it and you need to activate the tour to be able to view the tour, but by activating the tour, you're not distributing or automatically sending this tour publicly to anybody. That is the next step, which is distribute menu. Now notice I'm on the image set screen. I've got a gold highlight around the image set or the property that I want to distribute. It may be a little confusing, all of these uh, almost look like the same property or they do look like the same property because I'm using the same image sets on my demonstration here. But notice the gold bar or the gold border around the image set that I'm selecting. So that's called selecting the image set. And then we're going to distribute that image set over on the right hand side by clicking on the distribute menu. The action menu is the first menu. That's where you can find your service links to uh, put your virtual tour on the MLS and your website, send it to your sellers, etc. And the distribute menu is where we're going to distribute the tour. The first thing we'll want to do is distribute the tour, the very first option. Now each of these are separate options. So distribute the tour is going to pop up a menu that will allow us to send the tour to Trulia, to Zillow, to homes.com. It's going to send it to dozens and dozens of different portals, different sites to be able to distribute your tour to the world. When the pop-up menu shows up, you're simply going to toggle the switch distribute to yes. Now notice Mine came up with an error because I don't have 
this tour. Actually, this is a sample tour, but I do want to point out this message. Your tour has been distributed. However, we received an error posting to homeseekersandhomes.com. If your listing is not found on those sites, then it will not post the virtual tour to those. But it doesn't mean that there was an error sending your virtual tour to all the other sites, Trulia, Zillow, etc. So our system will automatically follow up and send to those sites every day. And if it doesn't find your, your listing, it won't add it, but it will keep trying. Once it finds the listing, it will add the virtual tour to that site. Okay, the next one is post to realtor. Now, I can't do the post to realtor because it'll give me an error message instantly because when you click on post to realtor, it's going to go out to realtor.com. It's going to look for this listing by the MLS number. If it finds the MLS number, it's going to look for whether you are a showcase or featured member with realtor.com. If you are, then you'll be able to post to realtor.com automatically and it'll simply say ready to post you'll click on the yes or the uh, post and it will send it to realtor.com. If you're not, or if this listing is not a showcase or featured listing, then you will need to decide whether you want to pay $25 to realtor.com. Now our system will automatically pop up a payment screen. If you want to post to realtor.com, you'll pay the $25 and post to realtor.com. We don't charge for posting to realtor.com, but realtor.com does charge if you're not a showcase member. You can simply close that window to say no if you don't want to do that. So post to realtor.com and see if you are a showcase or if you know you are, or if you want to pay the extra fee, you can do that as well and your virtual tour will be added to your realtor.com listing. Post to Facebook, we'll post the virtual tour to your Facebook account. It'll give you an option of which account you want to post to once you click on that. Post to Craigslist will allow you to post the flyer to Craigslist, and which is great for promoting your open house. Uh, it's a great way to drive traffic to your open house. The video is two options. Video promotion will allow you to change the title and the keywords for the video and then distribute video is how you're going to actually have our system or tell our system that you want it to automatically create a video and distribute that video to almost a dozen different video sites. Okay, on the video promotion, this is where you can change the title and the description just for your YouTube video. So this is only going to change the title and description for the video. The keywords are ways of how people are going to find this video in Google search and on YouTube. And so this is where you can add your own keywords. Be sure to put a comma separated between each keyword and no keyword can be more than 30 characters. You do need at least two keywords and there's a maximum of 500 characters. The link name here is not available because we have not created the video yet. Once you create the video, which takes overnight, the next day or within about 24 hours from when you toggle the switch distribute video to on, you'll be able to come back in here into video promotion and you'll see a link to the YouTube video. Once we turn on the video distribute video, it will turn these three distribution points to on. So we'll distribute to YouTube a podcast for iTunes and Truvio, which will dis distribute the video to about a dozen different sites including AOL video, Yahoo video, so it gets it out to many different uh, Mimeo to different video sites. We can update this once we've made the changes, close the screen, and then we're ready to distribute the video to on. When you turn on the video distribute video, our system will automatically convert the selected image set or the selected virtual tour into a video overnight so that within 24 hours or tomorrow morning this video will have been created and uploaded to YouTube and about a dozen different video sites. That's all there is to the distribution. It's all in one place right here in the distribute menu on the image set screen. Now remember that you can come back to video promotion to get the link to your YouTube video if you want to send that link to your clients etc. Also, under the Actions menu, if we just click on Actions and Service Links, the fourth one down, this is where you're going to find the link to post the virtual tour to your MLS. The MLS link is the second group of links and is 
unbranded, meaning that there's no agent information or brokerage information, which is required by most MLSs. So here on the service links, you'll find branded links on the top here. The virtual tour branded link is right here. This you'll use to send to your sellers, to send to prospects, etc. I wouldn't really worry about the video or flyer link because they're both included inside the tour unless you're only doing a video or only doing a flyer. The MLS links in the second group is divided into two different types of links, a standard link and a strict link. The standard link is what most MLSs require. The strict link is required by certain MLSs that will not allow third-party branding such as Google Maps or Walk Score. So you'll need to check with your MLS, but most MLSs are okay with the standard MLS link. Some are even okay with the branded link on the top of the screen, but again, check with your MLS. So if you're going to use the standard MLS link, simply double click your mouse or triple click your mouse or drag your mouse across the, the HTTP and ending with the numbers and then right click your mouse to copy that link. You can then close this screen and you can open another browser window to go to your MLS and paste that link into your MLS where it asks for the virtual tour or virtual media link. Now also notice on the bottom here where it says email links. We don't recommend emailing the links to clients or sellers, but you can email the links to yourself so that it's easy for you to find the links in your email and you don't have to log back into your Virtual Tour Cafe account. You can also email the links to your admin or your office administrator if they're going to be posting your tour or managing your MLS. We'll close this screen and we've now posted the tour to Realtor.com, we've distributed it to uh, Trulia and Zillow and uh, Homes.com and Home Seekers and we've put it on our Facebook and we've put it to Craigslist for our open house this weekend. We've turned on the video distribution so tomorrow our video will be created and we've paste, copied and pasted to our MLS. The last thing I want to show you in this intro video is the traffic report. If you click on traffic report underneath actions, you'll be able to send the traffic report every week automatically if you want to or anytime you want to by typing in the email address of yourself or your sellers. You can click on send email or you can simply come in here to view the report and see how many people have visited your tour, how many people have watched the tour on Trulia, on Zillow, on Homes, on Realtor.com. You can also auto forward right here to send this traffic report every week automatically to your sellers. So I want to be sure that you're aware of the traffic reports and how you can automatically send the link, put the email address in and then auto forward and update to send the traffic report to your clients. Now let's take a look at this virtual tour that we've created by going to the tour screen and we're going to click on our image set here on the left and we're going to click on view selected tour. Okay, so this is, uh, this is what the tour looks like. I hope you've enjoyed our training session for your first virtual tour, how to create and distribute a virtual tour to the world. We're going to go back to the home page here. We welcome you again to Virtual Tour Cafe. We hope you've enjoyed this training session. Come back again soon and take another training or go through the documentation that's also available to you. And don't forget, you can call or email us anytime. Happy marketing and welcome again to Virtual Tour Cafe.